Hello and welcome to Thought for November the 27th. Our readings are Esther chapter 2, Amos chapter 7 and Titus 1, 2 and 3. And our thought is, and to purify for himself. We live in times similar to those we read of today in the 8th chapter of Amos. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord God, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Verse 11. In these days, we all have Bibles. There is even less excuse for such a famine. There is certainly not a famine of food and drink today. Most have an abundance of it. But Paul told Titus that in those days, people have been slaves to various passions and pleasures. Chapter 3 and verse 3. Until they learn to purify their minds through serving Christ and the word of God. We must each ask ourselves, how well am I succeeding in maintaining that blessing of purification? Today we also read the three short chapters of Paul's letter to Titus, whom he had left in Crete to put what remained into order. Chapter 1 verse 5. There are matters in Paul's instructions to him that are, we suspect, equally applicable today. He warns of those who profess to know God, but they deny him by their works. They are detestable, disobedient, unfit for any good work, we read in chapter 1, verse 16. Paul says their consciences are defiled, verse 15. And our world today is so defiled in so many ways, we must be ever vigilant to keep our minds fed with godly thoughts that will keep penetrating all our thought processes and, as a result, we will give continual faithful service to our Saviour who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possession who are zealous for good works. Chapter 2, verse 14. So that being justified by his grace, we may become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Chapter 3, verse 7. We are not saved through doing good works. It is grace that justifies, so that we have the hope of eternal life. Paul's words that our Lord gave himself to purify for himself a people, and that means you and I, reminds us of his words to the Hebrews where Paul contrasts the purification rituals under the law with what should now happen. He told the Hebrews, How much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.